That's just your body adjusting to this slight change in pressure. This bubble of life is what allows millions of people to safely travel across the globe every single day, high above the clouds. Now, that 35,000 foot number isn't set in stone. It's more of a target that varies based on the aircraft's weight, the route, and even the wind. When a plane first takes off, it's at its heaviest, loaded with fuel and passengers. To generate enough lift, it needs denser air, so it might start its cruise at a lower altitude, like 31,000 or 33,000 feet. As the flight progresses and the plane burns off thousands of pounds of fuel, it gets lighter. To stay at its most efficient altitude, pilots will perform step climbs, requesting permission from ATC to climb higher, perhaps to 35,000 feet and then to 37,000 feet later in the flight. Lighter private jets can often fly even higher, cruising between 45,000 and 